Most insurance policies include a provision for a post-disability onset waiting period before disability payments begin. This period depends on the terms of the insurance plan, but is usually anywhere from seven to 30 days. Short-term disability insurance coverage is a temporary wage replacement insurance policy that usually lasts for 26 weeks or 180 days after occurrence of the disability. The waiting period is normally about seven days. Length of benefits can vary, but short-term disability benefits are generally payable for up to approximately six months. Long-term disability insurance usually has a minimum period of coverage that lasts for approximately 24 months, and in some cases, benefit payments may last until full retirement age. Own occupation disability plans pay benefits if you are unable to perform the duties of your own occupation, meaning you can't perform your job, not just any job. For example, say you're a dentist and you severely injure your neck so that you can't practice dentistry. Though you might be able to perform other jobs, you would still likely be disabled under a policy with an own occupation definition of disability. Let's go back to our disabled dentist. And now let's say he has an any occupation definition of disability in his insurance policy. This dentist is now only disabled if his neck injury prevents him from working any alternative job given factors such as age, training, and experience. Obviously, the any occupation definition of disability is much more restrictive. Whether you are entitled to disability benefits for a partial disability, sometimes called residual disability, depends on the specific terms and conditions of your plan. Disability insurance plans that include partial or residual disability benefit coverage allow for the payment of a reduced amount of benefits when the policyholder has not necessarily been rendered totally disabled, but still has a loss of earnings. You can receive private disability benefits even if you are receiving funds through supplemental income sources or other wage replacement benefits, such as Social Security disability income or workers' compensation. There may be an offset for certain benefits, however. Supplemental income sources, such as passive income, inheritance, and personal gifts, do not generally affect your private disability benefits.